Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all happy and healthy. Today for the planner section series, we are continuing, yes I know, we're going to be talking about the project section. If you would like to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and we'll get straight into the video. Alrighty, let's get straight into it. We'll flip straight to the project section because that's what we're here to talk about today. Um, sorry, I'm in a bit of a funny mood. <laughs> uh, so in the project section, it's not like any other normal ones that you probably would see when it comes to other people. They do projects for like, you know, things around the house, things you know, they're, they're kind of building or doing. I don't, honestly don't know what they do, uh, but that's how I've heard and seen other people do it. But for me, I've turned it into my little YouTube section. So this is a place where, for me, my project is, you know, my YouTube channel, what I want to do next, what I want to list, that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you a little inside of how I kind of plan it out. Um, I will probably hide a couple of things because I still want to keep it as a little secret and surprise you all because I love surprising people. I love seeing people get very excited and happy when they, you know, see, see something different and new. So on the, in the first part of projects, we have this card, Boss AF. Again, this is from Maypep Co. I say it in all my videos, I have all the description, d links, you know, all that kind of stuff down below. Check it out. <laughs> uh, and then this beautiful uh, peachy pinky, I don't know, it's a very nice nude uh, with a beautiful drawing on it. I love this line artwork. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I hope she brings out so much more. I keep saying it every time. I just want to see more of this stuff and I love it. Uh, so that's what I have there. Then it'll get straight into my inbox area. I honestly probably should get another one of these, to be honest. But I don't know. I kind of just like the look of that. But to neaten it up, I feel like I should get one of them. We'll see. But in the inbox section, we have... I will tag my little notes up here, especially if it's... Uh, for a video that is quite descriptive and I want to make sure I don't miss anything in my videos and then I will kind of prop it up over um, out the way so that way I can kind of see it and you know it kind of triggers my brain to remember okay say this and say that because there are some times where I completely forget you'll hear it in a lot of videos actually where I will be on point I'm not gonna lie I have had amazing videos where I'm on point saying uh, things like just amazing I like words that I've never heard of before and apparently I know them <laughs> um, and I have done that without a sheet of paper but there are some days where I have you know, I have fibro fog and I nothing's coming to my mind and I'm like, what is happening? And you can really hear it in the videos where I'm just getting lost, I'm getting confused and I'm trying to make a point, but it's just not happening. <laughs> so that's what I do. I tag all my notes underneath this little note here is just a little quote kind of thing that I wrote and popped it there. Um, but yeah, so I pin uh, some notes up here for me to be triggered when it comes to a certain video that I'm really trying to get a point across. Uh, and then we get straight into this inbox section here. And this is where I chuck a sticky note on the front and write, okay, this is your next video. Be on top of that. Get it done. Um, and, you know, I'll just tick it off. And I'll swap it out and then redo the next one. I had to kind of like code this. So I'm going to be like, what the hell is that? And so I'll go in here and go, oh, right, that's what it was. Um, just so I can keep it as a surprise at the moment. But you can see what's happening. You know that the planner section series is going to be about all the dividers here. So that's why I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not upset if you see that. So that's fine. I kind of really want to show you what I do in my project section. But that's what I do for the inbox area. I keep my list there. Then I have over the side here a sticky note where I actually highlighted and wrote down the days that I want to upload videos. Obviously the times usually change. It really depends on whether I do it that day or I pre-record it and then up have it like scheduled to be uploaded on those days. It really depends um, how organized I am or if you know I'm trying to get something done. You know, and not only that, life gets in the way. So I, you know, this kind of 
doesn't come always first. Family comes first. That's what I believe. So uh, I, I know everyone's going to be like, oh, no, how could you do that to us? <laughs> but honestly, um, yeah, when I plan, that's how I like to schedule. Whether it's on time or not, it will be up on that day. Um, but if not, I usually let you know on YouTube what's going on if it doesn't get up at all. Uh, but yeah, and then I have this little section here. Uh, I honestly want to update this because I've got so much crushed out. Um, and yeah, so these are just shop codes. This one's for Mumsy and Bub, my very first one. I was so proud. I've been really wanting to go shopping back with them again. Um, just because I've been checking out their washi tape and their art designs are fabulous. I absolutely love them. Um, and then of course, May Paper Co. I love her stuff. Of course, I'm going to have a discount code with her. Um, but the, so with this one, uh, with the Mumsy and Bub shops code, you can get 10% off every purchase. It's just a min minimum spend of $20, but no matter what, you can use this constantly. So go and check out her page. It's absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure she's even got planners over there still. I think the ring ones, they're the new ones, but she does sell a lot of TN planners. Honestly. Just go over there, check it all out. I absolutely love her shop. I've been really, really wanting to go back there, but I'm broke at the moment. <laughs> We're, we've got bills to pay, okay? Um, and yeah, same with May Paper Co. I want to go shopping with them. There's so much stuff I want to buy, but, you know, bills have to be paid and those have to wait. Um, but for May Paper Co., as far as I remember, I really hope I've got this right. Um, if not, May will correct me. <laughs> uh, but you're, you can use this code, but I'm pretty sure it's for one time, um, one time only for the first time you order. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But yes, again, both amazing shops. Go and check them out. I absolutely love them. I cannot tell you how much I love them. Oh my God. They're just amazing. Anyway, I'll stop rambling on about shop codes. So that's what I have on that page. Then next we turn over to collaborations. In the past, I have had collaborations with Shorty's Vlogs and Mumsy and Bub. It was just fantastic. But this is where I write down who I would like to, you know, collab with. But I'm afraid to write down any people that I would like to collab with in case they're like, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know why I have that little bit of a fear. But I'd, I'd love to do another collaboration video and organize something that I reckon everybody would love to see. Um, but yeah, if you are one of those people that would love to collab with me and come up with a really cool video idea that we could both do, that would be fantastic. I'm all ears, I'm all for it. Let me know, I would, I would be more than happy to do it. I love doing those kinds of things. It just makes me feel so special that people want to do that with me and it makes me so excited. Anyway. So that's what I have. Then in this section is where all the stuff really happens. Again, like I said, I'm going to block off this little area here because this one's the, what do you call it? Um, this one's the surprise one. I'm really, really excited for this one. Uh, this one was not happening because I kind of got over it. I was going to do a thing where it was let's make it clear but cross it out and then have it clean and then it was like you know making a planner like a cleaning planner discussion of you know going through all the cleaning process and stuff like that I'm still a bit iffy with it I'm not sure but it's gonna stay there for now until I really decide of whether I'm gonna do it and as I said in my first video I've been wanting to do the planner section series for so long I wrote it on this sticky note and kept just popping it onto the next page, onto the next page, no matter how many videos I did. Uh, I don't know. I just never did it. And I'm like, you really should do it. And even hubby was like, you should do it. I reckon people would like it. And this was like last year. At the start of last year, I planned on doing this. And I just never did it until now. And I'm like, why didn't you just do it? <laughs> I don't know. I felt like other ones were a bit more, you know, better to watch rather than a planner section series. But here I am, I'm doing it now. Um, but yeah, so I this is where I write down all of my ideas of what I want to do. And of course, when it comes to the day, I will grab uh, my planner, go, okay, so the video that I'm going to record today is moving, travel, vlog, planning, road trip. Um, and then I'll write down on my notepad, right, 
what do I want to actually that's a bad example because that one I just that was just like off the mark kind of thing where it just came off the top of my head um, let's see let's see this one plan a funk five ways to overcome it or snap out of it and that one I actually wrote down dot points of like five points that drew my attention to go okay that's what um, you know the first one is to get out of a plan of funk is to change the cover second one and then you know so on and so on that's what I do. I write it down on a notepad and then I keep it, put it on the front of the section there and that way I don't forget any points that I want to miss. So that's what I do. And then at the back here, it's literally just, you know, I wrote it. I, I don't know why. I put it on a sticky note. It doesn't happen. Put it on the paper. It's happening. I don't know. I probably should have just wrote it down on here and then it would have happened. Uh, but now I've popped it over here. Only because I couldn't highlight it and I didn't want to grab out a specific pen just to write on this transparent piece of um, sticky note. So I thought I'll put it on the paper and then I can highlight it when it's done. Uh, and then of course on this sticky note I've been, I've kept this one for so long as well. Uh, and this is just an IG, like Instagram ideas of, you know, what I can do on the um, Instagram reels thing. Honestly, I'm still getting used to it. Um, I do need to put a uh, new paper in because I'm going to do a separate page. So we're going to have like YouTube and then we're going to have Instagram Reels. That way I can write down my ideas and also that way I can keep track of the ones that you guys are asking for or the people on Instagram that are asking for, you know, videos to see on there as well. So... That way I've got them two separate ones and not only that, I feel like on Instagram they're very easy. You can just make really quick, simple videos and it's so cool. Um, but yeah, so that's how I do my project section. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below of whether you do something like this for your channel. Um, and if, you know, if this kind of helped you understand how I do my project section. I know it's very different from how everybody else does it, but this is how I do it and I love it. Anyway, thank you for taking the time out of your day and watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to be positive and give love. Bye. <laughs>